with profound humble gratitude and love to all venerated enlightened masters. We bow to the Almighty in soulful gratefulness for gifting us with their holy blessed presence. May all beings be awakened by their divine grace. Part 4 of 4 Etc. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule. Nuestros programs ofrecen varios idiomas. Visite suprememastertv.com bar inclinada schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Accesse suprememastertv.com bar schedule. You have to cultivate love, okay? In the beginning, you just do it because I told you, because it's the right thing to do. But later on, it becomes your nature. You have to love. You must love. Because without love, you're just an empty shell. Understand? Only the brain working like a computer, nothing inside. I'm sometimes disappointed. I really have to deal with a lot of egos and obstructions in my own house. And that is the worst thing that hits you. Understand? Because you trust these people, you think they're just like family. Please keep watching to find out more. Vegan, because it saves our souls from hell. I was admitted to the emergency room. They discovered that I am in heart failure. Magnus is my task trained service dog, so he was allowed to stay with me in the hospital. Having him there just kept me so calm and kept me as relaxed as possible. He was actually in the bed with me. I have this guy to stay with me in the hospital the entire time. I am lucky to have this boy. I really am. He made an unbearable situation bearable and more tolerable. For that, I am forever grateful. I really am. It just kept me relaxed, kept me calm, lowered my blood pressure. We were in the hospital for three days, but it felt like a lifetime. I always say life is better with a dog. Magnus exemplifies that every day. Everyone, I think, just got to, you know, be more like Magnus. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. Today's episode will be presented in English with subtitles in Arabic, Olasiz, also known as Vietnamese, Bulgarian, Chinese, Czech, English, French, German, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Japanese, Korean, Malay, Mongolian, Persian, Polish, Portuguese, Punjabi, Romanian, Russian, Spanish, Telugu, Thai, and Ukrainian or Uranian. Quidas teil laheb is how to say how are you in Estonian. Precious viewers, my name is Anton. The confident Estonians salute all good leaders who tirelessly work towards peace. May the heavens watch over them, keeping them safe and protected. The Republic of Estonia in Northern Europe is a coastal country bordering the Baltic Sea and Gulf of Finland and includes more than 2,000 islands. The land's peaceful forests, ancient peat box and abundant wildlife all contribute to its natural beauty. 
as one of the world's most digitally advanced societies, Estonia has made internet access available everywhere, extending service into even the most rural areas. In Tallinn, Estonia's proud capital, public transportation is free of charge for all residents. This enchanting city is also known for its historic architectural beauty. Just a short ferry ride from the capital city are several of the Estonian islands, each with a unique appeal. The island of Sarema has healing mineral springs, while Muhu is known for its colorful handicrafts. Standing tall on the island of Hiuma is the 600-year-old Kopu Lighthouse, whose bright beacons of light still guide ships to safety today. Along with being active participants in the digital age, Estonians also take great pride in their long-standing and unifying tradition of song. As a celebration with nationwide participation, their first song festival was held more than 150 years ago. Today's Estonian Song Festival brings together thousands of participants in a spectacular and moving event. We hope you enjoyed discovering Serene Estonia with us, learned viewers. May God's glory always remain in your heart so you can achieve the fullest potential that life has to offer. Supreme Master Ching Hai, vegan, is a world-renowned spiritual teacher, humanitarian and artist. She has been invited to lecture on the Kuan Yin method of meditation throughout the world. We now invite you to view Walk the Way of Love, an introduction to Supreme Master Ching Hai. We'll search high and low for a little love, for a little love to bestow on all beings in all corners of existence. Supreme Master Ching Hai, Vegan Supreme Master Ching Hai, as she has affectionately become known, leaves a message that walks the way of love. A renowned humanitarian, artist and spiritual visionary, her love and assistance has extended beyond all cultural and racial boundaries to people around the world, the needy and homeless, institutions of medical research, war veterans, the disadvantaged, the physically and mentally handicapped, refugees and victims of natural disasters, etc. We witness countless reminders of the compassion, the trademark of this caring lady and the international foundation that has grown out of her loving example. Whatever we can share, begin with sharing. And then we will feel a subtle change in ourselves. More love will be pouring into our consciousness and we will be aware of something. And that is the beginning. We are here to learn to grow as well as to learn to use our power, our limitless power of love and creativity in order to make a better world wherever we happen to be incarnated. Not only are human beings the blessed beneficiaries of her kindness, animal people from different species are also the recipients of her boundless benevolence. You okay, boy? 
Hello, you grow so big now, you. Bon appetito. I love you. Good appetite. This is one of the reasons why we should be vegan. Love for all beings. Extending love. Supreme Master Ching Hai, vegan, was born in central Olak or Vietnam. During her early years, she was often found helping hospital patients, the needy as well as injured animal people, in whichever way she could. As a young adult, she moved to Europe to study and continued there as a translator for the Red Cross. She soon discovered that pain and suffering exist in all corners of the globe and her search for the remedy to this became the foremost goal in her life. She was happily married at the time to a German doctor and although it was an extremely difficult decision for both of them, her husband agreed to a separation. She then embarked on what became a two-year-plus journey in search for spiritual understanding. Finally, in the deepest reaches of the Himalayas in India, she found an enlightened master who imparted to her the Kuan Yin Method, a meditation method on the inner heavenly light and sound. After a period of practice, she became fully enlightened. Soon after her return from the Himalayas, at the earnest request of those around her, Supreme Master Ching Hai shared the Kuan Yin method with others, encouraging them to look within to find their own greatness. Through the Kuan Yin method of meditation, they also attained greater fulfillment, happiness and peace. Before long, invitations arrived from the United States, etc. I saw that I was everywhere and in every creature. Europe. To see God is very, very simple. Asia. All religions tell you, be a good person here and find heaven while you can. Australia. We are the sons and daughters of God. We are ourselves, the Supreme Master. Africa. I will show you how to get direct teaching. And South America. And keep the commandments and try to lead a more vegan life. As well as from important organizations for Supreme Master Ching Hai to give lectures. The peace and love that we most often talk about and seek, we have within ourselves. You must look inside and find your own treasure and find the real lasting happiness. The future is in our hands, so you make it beautiful or you make it worse, it's up to you. Supreme Master Ching Hai has realized many spontaneous talents that she expresses through artistic paintings and creations, music and poetry, and aesthetic jewelry, and clothing designs expressing the inner and outer beauty. The income generated from her artistic creations has enabled Supreme Master Ching Hai to create an independent source of funding for humanitarian activities in support of her noble mission of assisting God's children in their times of need. Although she does not seek acknowledgement of any kind, Supreme Master Ching Hai has been given awards worldwide by government officials and private organizations on numerous occasions. They include the World Peace Award, the World Spiritual Leadership Award, the Award for Promotion of Human Rights, the World Citizen Humanitarian Award, the Award for Outstanding Public Service to Mankind, the 2006 Gusi Peace Prize, the Los Angeles Music Week Certificate of Commendation and first place silver for the 27th Annual Tally Awards 2006. 
in addition, October 25th and February 22nd have been proclaimed as the Supreme Master Ching Hai Day in the United States. She also brings love around the world where there is hate. She brings hope where there is despair. And she brings understanding where there is misunderstanding. She is the light of a great person, an angel of mercy for all of us. Agradecer a la Suprema Maestra su liderazgo, agradecerle su optimismo, agradecerle ese don de gente que tiene que la hace tan única y tan especial. Fue una impresión muy grata de ver un corazón tan noble, tan dispuesto a servir. Ella está sirviendo a todos los seres humanos, está sirviendo al planeta para salvarlo, para rescatarlo. Tiene un corazón noble, pero también un gran liderazgo. Sé que van a suceder las cosas que tienen que suceder. Supreme Master Ching Hai is one of the truly dedicated people of this era, helping others find and create a beautiful vision of our future. Many great people in history have had a dream and in her own words, so does Supreme Master Ching Hai. A dream that all the world will become peaceful. A dream that everyone becomes the Buddha. A dream that all the killing will stop. A dream that all the children will walk in peace and harmony. A dream that all the nations will shake hands with each other, protect each other and help each other. A dream that our beautiful planet will not be destroyed. It takes billions, billions, trillions of years to produce this planet. And it's so beautiful, so wonderful. I dream that it will continue, but in peace, beauty and love. Today we are blessed to present the insightful gathering entitled We Always Have to Appreciate What We Have, part 4 of 12 on Between Master and Disciples, given in English on June 30th, 2013 in Menton, France. And by the way, I'm not going to let you crawl around anymore and then everybody else has to carry you and drag you. We have to grow up now, okay? We have to catch up, yeah? We have to be more selfless. Not always I, I, my, my, me, me, yeah? And then one person eats up all the energy, <laughs> understand? No more of that. That's why this time is a little bit strict. I even list somebody I know that can't come. These people cannot come. That person cannot come. From now on, I select every time. Group meditation, always something. If I tell somebody, even not to throw out yet, say, oh, go sit there behind here, okay? Because the energy is like cutting my throat. Go sit behind or sit on top, <laughs> far a little bit, so it feels not so painful. And criticizing, oh, sorry for that person, <laughs> what a pity. You don't know anything about that person inside and outside. Because she doesn't project her energy toward you. She projects toward me, understand? And some people come to just to make trouble. Uh, even the residents, some of them are a group of gangsters from a former life. They beat me up. They almost killed me alive. They took everything from me and left me to die. Or, or locked me in to, to, to die of hunger, for example. Or throw me in the, in the bathroom in a bathtub. 
drown me in the bathtub. For example, do you understand this? Yes. Can you see all that? No. If you can't, then don't say anything. Okay? Because the moment you feel sorry for that person, you share some of her karma, understand? Even though I have cleaned it all up, but still the, the, the consequence of the past life is still hanging, uh, attached to them. That's why they came back. And even if they came back with sorrow and wanted to make it up, I still suffer like hell. Um, all kinds of things. You don't even know, okay? You don't even know. I don't want to tell you all this, but I just want to warn you. Just let me do my job. That's it, okay? Because from now, I select. Before, I openly uh, go lecture. Everybody was welcome. Of course, I gave everybody a chance, but not 10 years or 20 years still hanging in there. I want to take up the energy of everybody just to draw attention to one person or two persons. Or just ask because I want to, to be there. You understand me? No, I don't mean you guys. Huh? I don't mean that. <laughs> it's okay, I stay. I was just joking, okay? I don't come here just to say, ask questions, and then I leave. It's not, <laughs> it's not like that, okay? Uh, what I mean is, um, those of you who have been many years practitioners, including the residents, I have warned them. Therefore, right now, I pick out the two groups already. One is the negative group, one and positive. One belongs to positive, one belongs to negative. But even the positive, many are still very low, low positive, you see? A low level of positive, not high, not full, like a low battery, yeah? <laughs> even though it, it's still there, it goes beep, beep, <laughs> beep. <laughs> <laughs> and any time it can chop off, yeah? Like a telephone, eh? when your phone goes beep, beep, you know already. <laughs> Oh my God, and then suddenly, hello, hello! Oh. <laughs> Black. <laughs> Black, you see what I mean? Yeah. So the positive group, even though they have managed uh, to climb up to, uh, to the border, but they still now and then they come up and down because the negative power still can scratch them, you see? Like, if you are near, I can catch you. But if you're far like this, I cannot, see? If you're near, then sometimes I could pull you over. And also the negative power tries to always use the person next to me to trouble me. And if that person is not strong enough, not high enough, it's, it's a trouble. <laughs> Mostly are not. Mostly are not. This is a very sad thing, but uh, it's like that. Like, uh, like a group of people in a former life had been like thieves or robbers or even some who wanted to molest me in former lives. Now just all come back. And every day, <laughs> no, no matter who I change, it's similar, because they're a group. They come together. Not all residents are like that, but what I mean is even then, don't think, okay? Don't think that the next person is holier than you, or the other person is so pitiful, why masters call them, it's not like that. No, it's nothing like the way it looks, nothing like outside. Everything is like a, a game, understand? Everything packaged very well, so you don't even see it. Some people just go near and then I, I, I want to vomit. Some people just go near and I have a headache, some people just go near, and then I have to go to the hospital. Some people just stay around, and I had to have an operation. But of course, I cannot just live alone. I do live alone, you know, we live separately, but I still need someone. You know, because I'm not completely cut off from the world. I have to come see you sometimes, I have to do some job, even by telephone. Just to telephone one, one of the disciples or two disciples. I feel empty for two days. Do you understand? Do you ever feel empty like you have nothing inside you at all? Yes. You do? Yes. Oh, just talking to one person. I felt empty for two days and at my level even. Just recently, you know, last month. 
incredible, you understand? They can suck you up alive. <laughs> wow. Even um, sometimes you watch TV, huh? You feel pain too, huh? Yes. But I still have to do it because uh, the, the <laughs> all the residents are Buddhas already. They don't, they don't know where disaster is. They don't know what to do. Even sometimes I call home and say, please um, send somebody, send people to go and help. You know, so last time I even called Taiwan. There was some disaster in Taiwan, you know. I said, go, go and, and check if any need help, you know. Um, to, to like uh, you can buy things for them, comfort them. But not the person has to go. Just tell people to go. In Taiwan, there's a lot of people. Just pick up the phone and hundreds of people volunteer and go and help already. Understand? And, and, and I said, give, give them up to 40,000. If, if need more, give more. Okay? To buy things. You know, because sometimes if, if the flood comes, they, they have nothing left. They just run out of the house and the house kaput. And everything wash away, car, money, credit cards, bank notes, everything. They have nothing, just wet clothes or even no clothes. In times of disaster, it's like that. So I said, send people to go help. And that person told me, she's responsible for this. You see what I mean? In the post for that. See, that person told me, oh, yesterday I watched TV, there's not much uh, damage. I watch TV too. I saw at least in the the the, the first first uh, breaking news, one person died already and some injured. How can say not much damage? So I said it's not much damage because you are not damaged. If it's you, even one person or one finger lost is a damage to you. It will be very great pain to you. But because it's not you, you sit in there, warm clothes, and just have a little computer, and watch TV. The fridge is full of food, <laughs> safe in the house. That's why you don't feel too much damage. She means uh, no need to go. Understand? Yesterday, what TV, not much damage. Understand? Resident. I said, how can you have no love in your heart? It's my money, and other people go to help, not even you. You don't even have to go. I just ask you to call people. Because you sit in that post, you're supposed to do it before I even ask. But don't do it, even tell me, no need. <laughs> Imagine, your own people. It's uh, this kind of obstruction that sometimes makes my mission very, very uh, uneasy, yeah? I thought, oh, people come in to be renunciates, must be high ideal. It's not true. <laughs> Later I found out it's last lives, many lives, like a thief, robber, or, you know, killers or whatever, especially to me, not just for, for other people. So now they do the same, just sit there eating up my stuff and don't even try to help other people not even try to help me. I didn't ask her to come help me. And she did not even have to go to the disaster area, in danger or anything. No, just pick up the phone and call the contact person. Tell the contact person to send people out. And I allotted money already for them to buy things. So I said to her, even if nothing damaged, it's no, no harm to you to send people there to comfort, to ask if they are okay. Because when people are in disaster, it's not, not only they need money or anything, maybe not, but they, they, they would feel warmer if somebody comes and asks them. It's concern for them, understand? Or just pick up their little garbage for them, or just give them a hug or something. Wouldn't you feel good if you're in that situation? Yes. Anybody comes and hugs you and say, oh, we really care about you, uh, we are sorry. Won't you feel good? Yes. No, not much damage. One person died in the, you know, the first hour. One person died is a lot for himself already, right? Yes. Yes. And for his family. For his father, mother, or children, or wife, or husband. A lot of people are involved and his friends. It's not nothing. 
One person is connected with many persons. Who knows with, with that, if that person is the only breadwinner of the house and now he's dead, suddenly now nobody takes care of his family, his wife or something, you understand? And I say, never mind, just go because there are sometimes maybe old elder people. They live a little far away and when the flood comes or disaster, there are no telephones to call for help. You can just go and have a look everywhere. No harm to have a look. I, I'm, I mean, Taiwan is very small. Even if you walk around asking people, how tired can you be? I'm very disappointed. You have to cultivate love, okay? In the beginning, you just do it because I told you, because it's the right thing to do. But later on, it becomes your nature. You have to love. You must love, because without love, you're just an empty shell. Understand? Only the brain working like a computer, nothing inside. I'm sometimes disappointed. I really have to deal with a lot of egos and obstructions in my own house. And that is the worst thing that hits you. Understand? Because you trust these people. You think they're just like family. Many years together, many decades together, they would have grown up by now. No, some not. Even for very little things, don't listen, don't cooperate, have no love. Now, because we already have this system established, eh? and I don't have anyone else, so I just have to continue to use these people. But I'm very sad, very sad. Many times I cry. I told them, listen, people outside, they work very hard. They work under the burning sun. They work in the freezing climate when their hands couldn't move, like in Canada, yeah, or Alaska. When it's freezing, they still need to go out to repair the electricity. Sometimes they climb up the very dangerous high voltage or work on the road, né? repaired in the road and bridges under the scorching sun. Work under any conditions. Of course, they earn money with it, but we cannot even thank them enough. Yes? By farming vegetables, I am farming in line with my ethics, as opposed to against them, when I raise pigs. Bob Kamis, vegan. Tomorrow on Between Master and Disciples. The garbage collectors, the janitors outside there, it looks like an easy job. No, no, no. It's a dangerous job. Garbage cleaning people have a higher mortality rate than policemen and firemen, several times higher. Because the garbage sometimes is dangerous. People put things in there that might explode or it might contaminate them. And we just take it for granted. That, oh, he's just a garbage man. He has to collect garbage. Without the garbage man, we would be contaminated. We would be smelly. Our houses would be full of rats and rodents and bacteria. Warm-hearted viewers, we thank you for your company for today's episode entitled We Always Have to Appreciate What We Have. 
part 4 of 12 on Between Master and Disciples. Coming up next is Selections from Reverence for Life by the Reverend Dr. Albert Schweitzer, Vegetarian, Respect for Animal People and Nature, part 1 of 2 on Words of Wisdom. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television for more constructive programming. May your journey through life be filled with much laughter and cherished memories. Be vegan. Make peace. Do good deeds. Hell not reach. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash BMD.